Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the Geo Geobook 140X, the 140X Xbox Game Pass edition to be more precise. I bought this from Argos here in the UK which is a massive retailer that sells pretty much everything. This laptop is currently on sale for £199.99 and I've been wanting to take a look at it for a while because in my opinion it's a product that sits right on the line between useful and pointless. In the box we've got the machine itself, a charger and a setup guide. In terms of looks I think the 140X is great. The dark finish with touches of green here and there really emphasises the whole Xbox theme. There's a selection of connections along the very slim sides including a mini HDMI port, USB-C and USB 3 port, headphone jack and a micro SD card reader. The outer casing has that hard wearing rubberized feel which I like. It's solid and grippy and adds a more expensive feel to this lightweight entry level computer. The island style keyboard, large touchpad and an actual caps lock indicator light work in this thing's favour too. The amount of laptops or just keyboards without a caps lock light is criminal. But now we must talk about the performance. You've probably noticed the Intel Celeron sticker, right? The dual core N4020, 4 gigs of RAM and integrated UHD 600 graphics don't sound up to much and honestly, they aren't. General browsing is okay and the hardware is more than capable of full HD video playback which by the way looks acceptable on the 1920x1080 TN display but these are probably what I'd call the bare minimum specs to get by with in Windows 11, even in S mode. So what about the whole Xbox thing then? Well this thing comes with 3 months of Game Pass Ultimate on the house but the idea here is to use the cloud gaming service. To be fair this is something that Geo are very clear about, the setup guide even says this, it tells you to not download the games. When a company is upfront about a product's intentions, well I can only respect that. Now cloud gaming is of course better with a wired internet connection but the 140X doesn't have an ethernet port so we'll be dealing with my Wi-Fi. It's about the UK's average speed I've heard so nothing special. Now Xbox Cloud Gaming can either be accessed through the Edge browser or through the Xbox app. Performance will be the same but I found that my PS5 controller didn't work through the app, only the browser. Still to use this thing as intended I swapped out my controller and continued using the app. Xbox Cloud Gaming lets you play titles that are available through Game Pass on basically any device that can run a web browser smoothly, as well as through mobile apps. Older games like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion here that support FPS boost on console will support it through Cloud Gaming as well, so it's running at 60 FPS. Now I've tested this service before and one thing I've noticed today is that it feels more responsive. I'm using the same internet connection but the input lag seems to be significantly reduced. The same can be said for more fast paced titles like Forza Horizon 5 which seems to feel just as responsive to play as it would on the series consoles. It doesn't look as good, that's for sure, not with my internet connection anyway, but just like before we do get access to console specific features, in this case the choice between a quality and performance graphics mode, 30 or 60 FPS. Controller vibration is supported too, that goes for any game where it would be anyway, and the games sound fairly decent on this machine as well, the speakers are better than you'd expect, not too tinny. Flight Simulator 2020 was perhaps the best experience I had. This benefits from the fact that when you're high above a city or any other environment, you don't necessarily need incredibly sharp picture clarity, but it still looks good. That said, and in all honesty, I'd buy an Xbox Series S instead so that I could download and install the games. After all, the consoles don't cost much more, maybe less in some cases, especially on the used market. Now, I do get the appeal of this. It's a low-ish cost laptop that can handle web browsing just fine and it opens up a world of gaming to those who perhaps can't afford a console as well. However, the device you're watching this video on, you can probably play games through Xbox Cloud Gaming on that already and it might even have better specs than the 140X. Furthermore, the Series S has a web browser built in so if it's basic usage you're after, why not get one of those instead and get a far better gaming experience to go along with it. You'd need to fork out the extra for a TV or monitor and speakers, but 
I think in the long run you'd be glad you did. For the last part here I actually switched out of Windows 11 S mode and installed Steam, and then Skyrim, the original. I could have got the special edition through Game Pass but it decided to get stuck, and that's another thing I seem to encounter. I'm constantly having trouble with the Xbox app on PC, it's like it's actively working against me. Sometimes it just refuses to download stuff and sometimes it's just incredibly slow, maybe both. That's a rant for another day, but I mean if you're buying a laptop that focuses so heavily on Xbox, you'd like the app to work flawlessly, right? Back on the subject, and there's a reason that Geo tell you not to download the games, because they don't run very well. 720p low here, and even so it's pretty bad. Again, the company are honest about the fact that this is a cloud gaming machine, so I can't sit here and complain too much. They made a product with a clear target market in mind, and it fulfills its purpose in that regard, but that's about it. I'll leave a link to the product page at Argos below, and I should clarify that this video was not sponsored in any way. I spent my own cash for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.